But what we really want to know is what the hell is an old man like you doing going on? Hey, this is John Amos and Casey Amos' son, uh, the filmmaker, and we're letting you know that a good tip would be to get tuned in to Night and Day Network with the Curry Gang on YouTube and watch their animated series. Pardon the background noise. I'm in Jamaica and there's some noise going on in the background, but all is well. Straight ahead and best of luck to you. Subscribe to 9 Day Network's YouTube channels. The link is in the description. And click that notification bell to be notified of their newest content. Previously on Hood Time. Rames, I'm worried about Milton. Ever since he was exposed to that tear gas, he just been getting weaker and losing a lot of weight. Yeah, he looks like how we all gonna look by next week. Sick, homeless, hungry, and down on our luck. Ray Raider, that's not funny. Yeah, shut your pie hole, Junior, before I tie it shut. Your rent is past due. You got a week before you're out of here. Oh, no. Hey, what's this on the door? Eviction in three days? What? Now that's that term I said he would give us a week. Hey, family. What's wrong? Where's Milton? Is he home? Milton is fine. It's the home part we worried about. <laughs> that was Mr. the Boss from Night and Day. He just let me go. What? Oh no, Daddy. That's terrible news, Dad. Especially since we down to our last bit of food. I just seen two roaches fighting this morning over the last pop talk. <laughs> You bug brain. Rains, how are we gonna come up with this rain in three days? Rains Bevins? Yeah, that's me. Who's asking? My name is Samantha Kane. I'm an attorney at Smith and Fraser Law Firm. I'm here to help you file your suit against the Deville Police Department in the city of Deville. Good times, we living in the project. Good times. Yo, whoa, man, I see you. Look at you with your squad. Over there looking like a couple of Pac-Man ghosts. <laughs> oh, you a funny dude, huh? Yeah, this my squadron, though, man. And we be making a move like Pac-Man, too. Man, is this your wit? Just got this thing the other day. Fresh out the dealership. Damn, man, I bet them ladies are on you. Oh, like honey. And them shorties is just like a bee. <laughs> oh, you took it back to the color purple on me, huh? <laughs> I see you still a funny Negro, man. <laughs> well, we cannot say. How you able to get something so fresh anyway? I didn't realize moving them counterfeit Jordans was booming these days. Especially with them fake necklaces you used to unload that would turn green and break your skin out. <laughs> Man, that ain't funny. You sucker me in a cop in one of those fool's gold chain. That rash I caught looked like a STD on my neck. I had to wear a turtleneck every since. <laughs> well, I ain't exactly boosting clothing no more, my G. I'm into something a little more major. As a matter of fact, swing by my crib when you get a chance to talk some business. And who knows? You might be copping one of these yourself one day. No doubt, bro. You still over there on 30th Street? Of course, of course. You won't recognize it though. Got that thing remodeled. 
It's all decked out. Well, look at you stunting. Looking like the black Bruce Wayne. But instead of becoming Batman that night, you becoming crack man, huh? <laughs> but instead of fighting crime, you pitching down. <laughs> You're a funny Negro boy, I'm telling you. Well, I'm gonna hit the studio real quick, bro, and lay these tracks down. Oh, you and Rizzy Riz still doing your thing, huh? Of course, man. You know how we get down with the get down. He lay the tracks, I bring the racks. That's what's up, Ray Ray, man. Make sure you get up with me, though, all right? And tell Riz I said what's up. Will do, my dude. You be safe out here, my G. You too, bro. Rizzy, what's up, my dude? Ray Ray, now I'm gonna stay my brother. Oh, you getting serious with this conscious stuff, huh? <laughs> we cool as long as you don't start talking like a fortune cookie and walking around Deville looking for the master like Bruce Leroy and the Last Dragon. <laughs> don't worry, brother. One day you'll be right where I'm at. I used to look at the conscious community like a bunch of weirdos myself till I came into my truth. Whatever you say, brother. Now where's that new track at you want me to hear? Oh, I got you. You went for a treat, my man. Yeah, that's not good. Thank you, my good brother. Thank you, thank you. Man, you really outdid yourself on this one, man. That track is lit today. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a battle going on at the park today. Thought you might be interested. A battle? Who's hosting it? It's going to be hosted by the one and only DJ Black. DJ Black? Mixtape King DJ Black? Yeah, bro. And get this. Winner gets a stack. And a feature on Black's next mixtape, Too Real for the Streets. A whole stack in the feature? I'm there! I knew you would be. I already signed you up, my dude. Cool. I definitely could use that stack. My fam going through a tough time right now. Yeah, I heard what happened to your little bro at that protest. How is little man? Milton gonna be cool. He just got out the hospital yesterday. Pigs try to jam him up. Hmm. Pigs are filthy animals. And they love playing in dirt. You got that right, brother. How you find behind sister doing with her big booty self? Mm. Hey, man. Wipe the drool from your lip. It's dripping all over the equipment. Plus, that's my little sis you talking about. What happened to that conscious pure brother act you been putting on, huh? Bruce Leroy? Hey, hey. Even Bruce Leroy was trying to get some from Vanity, remember? I'm just playing, man. Chill out. Why your panties is in a bunch? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Let's get back to laying this track down. I feel a hit brewing in the depths of my soul. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, brother. Hotep. Here you go with that conscious jargon again. And you over there looking like a fake behind Martin Fair Con X. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start calling you Jesse Cracks. <laughs> What's going on, Selma? Getting ready for my day with Tony Flemings. Where is everybody? Mama went to the market. Ray Ray is at the studio. And Daddy went to go fill out some job applications. What's that smell? That would be my new designer perfume. Made for a beautiful goddess such as myself. Whoa, would you use the whole bottle? I thought I was being gassed again. Shut up, Milton. I thought you were supposed to be resting. I've been resting all week, Selma. If I rest any longer, you might as well dress me up and put me in a casket. Plus, I'm starting to feel better. Good. Now you can start helping with some housework around here. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little lightheaded. I'm going to go lay back down. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Who is it? It's Tony Flemings. 
Hey, Tony. Hello, pretty girl. You looking good. You ready to go? Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. Let me call my mom to see if she's on her way back from the grocery store. She didn't pick up. I'm sorry, Tony. I gotta wait till she gets home because I'm watching my little brother. It's cool, babe. She driving? Because if not, we can swing by and pick her up if you want. Really? Yeah, that won't be a problem. You're so sweet. And you are beautiful. Hello? Oh, hey, Ma. Selma, hey. Who's this? That's Tony Fleming's, Ma. Remember I was telling you about him? Tony, this my mom, Flora Bevins. How you doing, Mrs. Bevins? Let me help you with those groceries. Nice to meet you, Tony, and thank you. Oh, no problem, Mrs. Bevins. I'm gonna go finish the last touches on my makeup. I'll be back shortly, then we can go. Okay, Tony? Okay, gorgeous. Even though you find the way you are. <laughs> so where are you from, Tony? I'm from around the area. I was originally born on the West Coast, but me and my mom and my two brothers moved here to Deville when I was younger. Okay. Hey, Flora. Did you see that nice BMW parked out in the front of the building with the rims? Whoever owns that must be loaded. Oh, that will be mine, ma'am. And who are you? Ramona, this is Summer's date, Tony Flemings. Oh, okay. Tony, this our neighbor and good friend of the family, Ramona Jenkins. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Nice to meet you. So what you do for a living to be able to afford such a nice car? Oh, I own a couple storefronts around the city, and I'm co-owner of that Pathway gas station over there on 32nd Street. Yeah, I know where that is. Oh, so you got some money, huh? Look like some are just struggling. <laughs> now, Ramona, that's enough. Would you leave a boy alone? What? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> okay, Tony, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Bevins. And Miss Ramona? Mm -hmm. Now you two kids have fun. Bye, Mama. Bye, Ramona. Looks like Summer got herself a catch there. If she play her cards right, he might be her golden ticket out of the hood. <laughs> She's got a golden ticket. She's got a golden twinkle in her eyes. <laughs> You silly, Ramona. <laughs> what? Is money all you think about? Of course not, Flora. I also think about nice things, my bills being paid, and extravagant vacations. <laughs> you saw those, Ramona. What happened to that day you had with Kitty with the one hand? Girl, let me tell you. I'm listening. Well, first he picked me up in this old beat-up truck. Called himself being a gentleman and opened the door for me. And girl, the rust was so bad on that door, I swear when he pulled it open, I thought the whole thing was going to fall off. <laughs> uh -uh, Ramona. I'm serious, Flora. And get this, when we get to the restaurant, right? Uh-huh. He could only afford to pay for half his meal. What? And... He paid mostly in pennies that he had wrapped up in a grocery bag. No way, Ramona. Child, I was so embarrassed. And I had to pay for the other half of his meal. And my meal. And get this. On the way home, that truck had a nerve to break down on the side of the highway. <laughs> Ramona, please stop. So he gonna look at me talking about, you know, I ain't got no money for Uber, right? <laughs> I bet not, because Uber don't take pennies. <laughs> exactly. Oh, it ain't over. 
So he decides to walk himself up the shoulder of the highway and put his arm up trying to get the attention of the cars, speeding by at 100 miles per hour. <laughs> Try to hit Jake with the only 80 ass left. <laughs> so of course, I ended up calling the Uber anyway. Ramona, you didn't. Girl, I got tired of standing out there watching him trying to flag them cars down. So when we finally reached his place, he gonna try and give me a good night kiss. Ah, uh -uh, Ramona, and what you do? Girl, I turned my head so fast and started coughing. And he like, why? And I'm like, yeah, just feel a little sick from the fumes from your raggedy truck. <laughs> you got that right. And he gonna say, Yeah, sorry about that. My cousin loaned me that truck. And I was like, Yeah, we would have been better off walking. <laughs> then he gonna ask, What we gonna do this again? What? Mm hmm. And I'm like, Boy, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so you ain't gonna give him another chance? What about that settlement he's supposed to be getting? Girl, he can keep that. He gonna need every cent. <laughs> you ain't lying, Ramona. <laughs> Rames, what happened? We from the gutter. I didn't stutter. Let's get that butter. Love one another. We fathers, brothers, sisters, and mothers. In the struggle with daily troubles, we trying to eat. Don't let it bug you, just up your hustle and keep your peace. The streets is hectic to get respected, you show some heart. They get the message when you reflect it, so know your part. The game will trap you and try to crack you and have you locked. Lanes attack you instead of back you, they lie and plot. Hood Town was recorded on a mobile device and sent to an online audience. The hood is litty, the inner cities is where it pops. Trying to cut them up from the bottom.